All right, so this is an awful, awful look for Dwayne Wade. Oh, shit. As Gabrielle Union does exactly what she wants, what? and that's whatever she wants, regardless of how it compromises the integrity of the relationship. Ah. And optics are very important as a public figure, and this is a bad look. All around bad look. So, okay, so I'm going to get into the history of this. Uh, shout out to LTTV. Y'all remember this picture that Gabrielle Union posted? Goes, this goes back to the Instagram conversation. Why are you posting thirst trap pictures with your nipples out while being married? She belongs to the street. This is not no average, oh, I'm just on the beach vacation picture. This is a thirst trap. Why are your nipples out? Ah. So, Gabrielle Union posted that. Dwayne Wade should have had gripes with that from the, from the start. He should have been like, yo, what the fuck you doing? Hey, yo, what the fuck? But, you know, she's going to do what she wants. That boss bitch mentality, that independent woman mentality in a marriage. He's stupid. So Jimmy Butler responded, well, damn. Dwayne Wade responded, put well, damn in caps on my wife's photo again, and you're going to see what the good, the bad, and the ugly is like. Jimmy Butler responded, well, that ex escalated quickly. Point noted. I'm still coming to the barbecue, though. So Jimmy Butler merely scoffed at the notion, like, nigga, come on, man. Still coming to the barbecue. Your girl's putting herself out like that. Like, nigga, well, damn. The fuck are you talking about? It's like, stop it. Get some help. And then this. After a Miami Heat victory, you're not going to see any more of those after Boston finishes them up in um, game six. Stop the cap. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. But, um, get into it. Look what happens. Hug behind his back. Touch on the back. Why are you touching his ass like that? What you mean? Come on, that's swag. That's what you got out there in that court. You had that. You were standing on tables. This awkward ass conversation from ex teammates. I'm just trying to get like you type conversation. That's weird. You don't have those kind of, like that. That's that's awkward. Let's get into that. I right, appreciate y'all coming. Love. Love. You know it, love. Jesus. Touching his shoulder. Why are you touching his shoulder so much? How do you do that? And he had to grab his girl to. Man, <laughs> that's a mess. Let me play this one more time, uninterfered. Oh, so be cool, like Jimmy yeah. Butler. Like, you know, I gotta go. Good. Yeah. I can't believe it. What you mean? You know, that's 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 there, there's so much wrong with that clip. There's so much wrong with that clip. Because initially at the starting, when you see, it's like Dwayne Wade's walking down the hallway. She chooses to turn and hug him as soon as he turns his back. Ah. Kind of almost looks over his shoulder. Jimmy's looking at him as we look in this slow motion. Then he turns around, sees his wife, all friendly, buddy, buddy with Jimmy Butler, touching him. Touching his back, hand on the shoulder in another clip, too close to Jimmy. And then Dwayne Wade says this. This is what happens when your woman dominates you, t steals all your confidence and shine with that alpha woman boss bitch shit. And you have NBA legend, one of the greatest of all time, Dwayne Wade talking about he's trying to get that confidence and swag that Jimmy Butler has. What? Nigga, Dwayne Wade, have you forgot who the fuck you are? This is what the fuck happens. Beta. This is what happens. We've seen it happen with Will Smith. Let the rules. We see the Amber Heard uh, Johnny Depp case going because Johnny Depp wasn't going to make that shit happen to him. Johnny Depp wasn't having that. Johnny Depp was trying to get the fuck out of that toxic ass relationship. Um, if you don't get that bullshit out of my face, bitch. Man, there's so many examples. I'm not even going to name all these examples, but y'all have been, we've been seeing them for the past few years. A high value, high earning, highly respected man. Can't even be respected by his own woman. So it kills his respect amongst his peers. He got his ass cooked. It's a terrible, he it shows terrible cooked. leadership. It's like terrible. And the reason cooked. why it reflects so bad on the man, because it's like, my nigga, you control the access to relationships and marriage. You got to do better. You command more than that. Come on, man. This is, this is pathetic, man. This is ridiculous. I see shit like this and I'm like, God damn. <laughs> like, he needs some friends to save his ass. That's what the fuck he needs. He needs some friends to sit him down and have a motherfucking intervention and be like, this ain't it, nigga. This ain't it. Stop it. 
Get some help. Let's get into some of the comments. Gabrielle Union got her eyes on Jimmy Butler. D Wade better watch out. This is hilarious for so many different reasons. D Wade switch up quickly after Utah failed. Remember Butler comment, right? D Wade protecting his wife. Not protecting his wife enough. Whoa. Protection would have been not posting that goddamn shit on Instagram, putting yourself out there so much for your for niggas to violate. And then you have awkward moments like this when y'all are cool, but the public sees it as, oh, he tried her. And she's all touchy, touchy, friendy, friendy with Jimmy Buckets. How do you do that? How do you do that? What the hell is going on? Dog having flashbacks. Better keep an eye on Jimmy back there, Wade, with the eyes. This some August Alcina shit. They trying to recruit Jimmy. Uh, this girl said Wade missed that hug. Yep, right behind Dwayne Wade's back. That's when the hug took place. This man said, get you a girl that looks at you the way Gabrielle Union looks at Jimmy Butler. Shit getting out of hand now. That's so bad. That's your wife. How did this happen? Who who was the idiot that did Jimmy this? Jimmy hugging Gab in front of Wade after that comment. This is awful, especially after that comment. Women will be women? No, nigga. Hoes will be hoes. Fuck out of here, nigga. That's that bullshit. That embarrass your man and not have any type of regard for him at all when it comes to situations like this. We talk about men protecting women. Women are not protecting the integrity, uh, the respect, and the prestige of their men. You get these great men just to tear them the fuck down, and now nobody respects them after all their greatness and accomplishments. It's pathetic. Someone else said, Gabrielle Union knows she wrong for all that friendly, buddy-buddy stuff with Jimmy. This is what I'm talking about. Perfect. D-Way wasn't trying to give Gab and Jimmy no alone time. Nigga, what the fuck? Of course not. What the fuck is going on here? She shouldn't even be doing that. He, 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 crossed, he crossed his fucking place with her, and she's entertaining him like she's a fucking groupie like that. If you are putting out things that will be to the detriment of your the image of your relationship, the public image as being two public figures, which results in y'all losing respect in the public, it's a bad PR move. First, first, first of all, we see what happened with Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. The public ain't fucking with that shit. They ain't liking that shit. It doesn't look cool. People are losing respect for people that they really admired before, so they don't fuck with that shit. But let's just move on. There's there's too many comments here. There's way too many comments. Gabby out of pocket, LOL. Gabby looked a little too happy. Jimmy after Wade's girl. This would trigger, not gonna lie. Butler about to smash. Like, this is a bad motherfucking look. This is awful.